glorify your name this morning, oh God. We thank you, dear Lord, for your love. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your breakthrough. We glorify your name this morning, Lord. We exalt your name because, Lord, there is none like you, dear Father. Oh, hallelujah, we give you all the glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, dear Lord, for your kindness on my Father. Tuna ni ruwa china lako kufalmo wacha. Tuna kiri kwa maha kuna liye kama wewe kufalmi. Oh, hallelujah, we glorify your name. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We welcome your Holy Spirit, my Father. Come and reign in our midst, oh God. Come and reign in our midst, my Father. Come and have your way, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Have your way in our midst today, oh God. Come and have your way, oh mighty Redeemer. Atuna mwingine liye kama we Jehovah. We wendiwe kimi leoletu na tege mioletu. Oh, thank you, almighty God. Thank you, almighty Father. We glorify your name this morning. Hakuna liye kama we Baba Yetu. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sita pepe ingine iliyo na mifano yote. Sitapika magoti yangu ni suchudu Nita kusanya saraka zangu ziwe manu kato Kwa yetu Hasta ili simba sitaburu sitaburu Yale yote tunajua na yale hatujui Ambayo ni chukizo kwa ke mungu Tukaweze kutubu na kuomba msamaha wa nabi Tukaweze kualika uwepo wake katika maisha yetu Katika mioyo yetu Ili akazini na kutuelekeza Mfalma wa amari We glorify your name this morning We repent our sins, O God We repent our jiva ways, Almighty Father Knowingly and unknowingly, my Lord all that we have done contrary to your wills, my Lord and my Savior, I pray that Lord you forgive us. Cleanse us, Almighty Father. Cleanse us, Almighty God. Wash us in the precious blood of Jesus. To find a new baby, Pia Baba Yaku. To come as a Kukubali Kamachoni Paku. In the name of Jesus Christ, we repent our sins, O God. We repent our evil ways, Lord. We welcome your Holy Spirit, Lord. Come and have your way in our lives. Come and have your way in our lives. 
come and have your way in this sanctuary. Come and have your way in our families, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. jina la Yesu tunakushukuru na kuinua jina lako mfalme wa ajabu tunasema asante na tunakiri ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu unayetupenda tunakiri ya kwamba mfalme wa ajabu mahali ambapo tumefikia Mungu imegaribu mkono wako wa rehema kufika mahali hapa tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya familia zetu mfalme wa ajabu Tunakushukuru kwa ulinzi wa familia zetu na watoto wetu ewe Mungu. Kwa hakika tunakiri ya kwamba imegarimu mkono wako. Pokea sifa na shukurani mfalme wa ajabu. Hakuna mwingine anastahili kuinuliwa Mungu wa rehema. Ni wewe ambaye unastahili kuinuliwa. Ni wewe ambaye unastahili kuabudiwa. Father, we are going to worship none other God, O oh God, except you alone, my Father, for the glory and honor of your name. Father, we bless you. Bwana, tunainua hata taifaletu katika mikono yako. Tunakiri ya kwamba mungu wa rehema. Hili taifaletu liko mikono ni mwako. Na ni wewe ndiyo kiongozi mungu wa rehema. Tunakataa nguvu zote za ibilisi. Tunazifunga na kuzilani katika jina la Yesu. Na tunakuja kinyume kia siyasa zote za kugawanyika. Tunazifunga hizo pepo katika jina la Yesu. Father, we, uh, we spread all our love, O oh God. We spread your love to all the nations. We spread your love to all the tribes of this country, O oh God. We spread your love to all the uh, corners of this nation, O oh God. We declare this nation belongs to you, my Father, for the glory and honor of your name. Nakabidi hata uchaguzi unaokuja mwaka ujao. Mungu nendo ukainuliwe. Nendo kaweze kutukuka. Wale ambao wanatarajia kuwe na fujo na machafuko wa, watashindwa katika jina la Yesu. Tunakiri kwamba amani yako, ile amani ambayo ulituachia, ile amani ambayo ulituahidi itaenda kutawala katika taifa hili. Tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya upendo wako. Tunakushukuru hata kwa familia zetu Mungu wa rehema. Tunazikabidhi katika mikono yako. 
Tunakabidhi watoto wetu katika mikono yako. Tunakabidhi ndoa zetu katika mikono yako. Mahali ambapo Mungu tumeshindwa, tunauliza roho wako mtakatifu akaingilie kati na ukaweze kutenda kazi na kubadilisha hali katika jina la Yesu. We bless you Father. Thank you for this church oh God. We want to uh, commit even the fundraising that is coming my father next month. God, you are the provider. Oh, yes. We are trusting upon you and we believe that God you are going to surprise us. All for the glory and honor of your name. Yes. This service my father, the word and every uh, activity remaining, we commit it before you. All to be done for the glory and honor of your name. For in Jesus name we do pray and believe. Tumpigie Yesu makofi, tumpigie Yesu makofi. Amen. 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 Waimbaji na waruhusu mkaketi japokuwa sijakata jacho na sijaona Mrs. Mlati akiangusha kiti lakini na wasamee. Amen. Amen. Watoto wote tafadhali uh, uh, you can just take your seats please. Uh, mnaweza kukaa chini watoto wote. Watoto wote, watoto wote mkuje hapa mbele. Watoto wote mkuje hapa mbele tunaoombea mnapoenda kwa, 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 kwa darasa zenu. Watoto mkuje hapa mbele kwa haraka. Amen. Lili anajua hauna watoto lakini who knows. Kuja uombe hao watoto tunawarelease. Tuna eh pengine vile unavyowaombea hawa Mungu naye atatenda muujiza. Amen. Eh nimesikia uh, 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 wengine wakiungana na imani yangu. Watoto wote tafadhali release all the children to come forward. Na waje tukaweze kuwaombea tunapowarelease kuenda madarasani. Amen. Tuonyeshe watoto wetu mikono. Baba katika jina la Yesu, asante kwa sababu ya hawa watoto ambao umetupatia katika maisha yetu Bwana. Tunakushukuru kwa sababu Jehova wewe ndiwe Mungu umetupa watoto hawa katika maisha yetu. Tunajua kwamba mfalme una baraka nyingi katika maisha ya watoto hawa na asubuhi leo tunawatabiria kwamba hao watoto hawatakuwa kama watoto wa dunia bwana hao watoto bwana watakuwa watumishi wako jehova hao watoto jehova watakuwa watu ambao watashika mamlaka katika dunia hii bwana hao watoto mfalme watakuwa wakikujua wewe na hawatatoka katika njia zako katika jina la Yesu ninasimama kinyume na kukemea kila nguvu ambazo zinaingia kwa watoto usiku wa kilala ikiwaletea ndoto mbaya na hata shuleni bwana wale ambao tumesikia wamepo tena hata wakiwa shuleni na kufariki hawa bwana hawatafariki katika jina la Yesu. Jehova tunakemea yule ambaye anaingia watoto wakifika hata teenage na kuharibika na kutoka katika njia zako tunakatea kwamba hawa hawatatoka katika jina la Yesu. Jehova Mungu wabariki bariki watoto wao, bariki pia walimu wao pamoja na wazazi wao katika jina la Yesu. Asante bwana kwa kuwa ni Mungu umesikia na umejibu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo naomba na kiamin. Amen. Amen. Tuwapigie makofi tena watoto wetu wanapotoka. We are proud of you our children. Amen. And we declare that our children will always be the heads, never the tails in Jesus name. Mtu aseme amen amina mahali pale. Amen. 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 Ah uh, Nimearifiwa ya kwamba mchungaji wetu were hajisikii vizuri so nataka ni mwalike mchungaji Rotich akaweze kumuombea yeye na mke wake hawajisikii vizuri uh, so tunataka tuwapeleke mbele za Mungu amen eh, kwa hivyo uh, mchungaji uh, Rotich karibu uombe u- u- na pia kama kuna mwingine ambaye hajisikii vizuri mahali hapa you are there and you are not feeling well hebu nionyeshe kwa kuinua tu mkono unaona kabisa unahitaji kuguswa amen amen kuna mwingine pale 
you need the intervention of God. Uko pale na hujisiki vizuri. Nyosha mkono. Amen. Kunyosha mkono ni ku, you know it's showing your faith. Amen. So nyosha mkono wako tutaomba pamoja na wewe. Kuna mwingine pale nyosha mkono wako tutaomba pamoja na wewe. Kuna mwingine pale Amen. So uh, mchungaji Rotich sote tusimame tafadhali tunapo uh, ungana na mchungaji Rotich as we pray for those that are not feeling well amongst us. Uh, mchungaji Kenga utaniruhusu tu niite wana kwaya tuimbie chorus tu moja na kuabudu. Tafadhali ile chorus mlikuwa mnaimba saisi tu kabla mcha toka. Alafu tuombe pamoja. Haleluya. Tutanyosha sauti zetu sisi wote baada wanakwaya kuimba alafu mimi nitamalizia. <coughs> Tuombe mchungaji wetu were na mke wake. Uh, they are not well, they are not feeling well, they are unwell. Na pia wale watata wameinua mikono. Uh, t- I jawan We raise our hands, oh God. We pray for our dear pastor, Pastor Warren, together with his wife this morning, oh God. Father, you may deliver it in the name of Jesus. Lord, may you touch it, O God. May you deliver it. May you release it from that sickness in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, right now, we declare healing upon him right now, O God. You are our God. You are our God. In the name of Jesus. We pray, O Lord, to heal them. 
Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakuja mbele yako mchana ya leo Baba tukiinua mtumishi wetu Pastor Were pamoja na mkewe ambao wanaukua sasa hivi Baba sio mapensi yako Aa, watu wako watumishi wako kukaa nyumbani Baba tuangekua hapa pamoja nasi asubuhi ya leo wakiwabudu wakihudumu pamoja nasi bwana Baba tunatuma neno la uponyaji juu yao kwa mapiko ya Yesu Kristo wameponywa. Sasa hivi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Baba tunajua yale ambayo wanapitia ni majaribu tu lakini Bwana ushindi na usima na uponyaji wako nao katika jina la Yesu. Baba watapona sasa hivi wataponywa bwana hii wiki ujao na wiki ambazo wata usinakuja bwana watatembea watapata nafuu na watapata ufanyaji kamilifu katika jina la Yesu Kristo baba tunakiri uponyaji juu yao katika jina la Yesu tunainua sauti setu pamoja tukikiri pamoja na kwa masikisano kwamba wameponywa katika jina la Yesu Kristo hata huyo nduku na ule dada ambaye ameinua mkono juu na kila mmoja ambaye uh, labda hata acha inua mikono na ana, ana, kila aina maumivu katika sehemu yoyote pamoja na mchungaji wetu ambaye ana mapua tunamwombea katika jina la Yesu tunawaombea wote katika jina la Yesu tukisimama kwa kupitia neno lako tukisimama kwa neno lako bwana kwamba wewe ni Mungu ambaye utuponyaye Baba tunakiri kwamba we ni mponyachi wetu. Na tunapokea wewe uponyaji kwa niapa yao. Sasa hivi pamoja katika jina la Yesu. Asante kwa uponyaji. Asante kwa uponyaji. Asante kwa uponyaji wao. Tunakushukuru Bwana kwa sababu umewaponya. Asante Jehova kwa sababu umewaponya. Wameponya sasa hivi na wako huru na wamepata nafuu na wanarejea katika maisha yao ya kila siku katika hali yao ya kila siku katika hali ya afya na uponyaji katika jina la Yesu Asante Bwana tunakushukuru tunakuinua katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini Semeni amen 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 and amen Amen Asante sana Ibachi mungu wa bariki. Amen. Tumpigie makofi mchungaji wetu. Na tunafrai hata kukuona mchungaji wetu. Najua Last time nilikuona kwa WhatsApp ulikuwa umesingirwa na maskari nikashtuka nikasema uko Kenya ama uko Mogadishu <laughs> Amen Kama ungekuwa uko Mogadishu hiyo siku sasa singe lala ningekesha kuomba Amen Situmpigie makofi hata mchungaji wetu Amen. Na pia siku hizi tuko diaspora. We are online, si ndio? Amen. Amen. We are an international church. Si tukaribishi hata watazamaji wale wa online kwa makofi, tuwapigie makofi. Amen. 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 Kuna kina brother Kimani, I know they are watching us from the US. And uh, other brethren that are also watching us online, we, we, we appreciate you. Na ni wangapi ambao wako mahali hapa na ni mara ya yenu ya kwanza kufika mahali hapa. Just show me by raising up your hand. Mutaniona na changanya kidogo na kingereza mana squeeze tuko tunasikika diaspora. Amen. So tuapikie makofi tuko na wageni pale. Wageni wetu chukweni hatuwa nyingine ya kusimama just 
you know simameni simameni tu wageni wetu pale kuko na wageni wengine it's very you are very first time kufika mahali hapa amen kuko na wengine hapa can we appreciate them with a clap tafadhali amen 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 our ushers wapatieni kipaza sauti very quickly just just give us uh, your names kwa kifupi sana sio wakati wa ushuhuda but just give us your names uh, where you come from and uh, kama umeokoka ama hujaokoka you are at the right place amen we are the best church in the world we have the best pastors in the world we have the best anointing in the world and we have the best senior pastor in the world sikupige makofi amen so tafadhalini wacheni tusikie kutoka kwa wageni wetu praise god kwa majina ni Sara Nangira natoka hapo vet ni makofi amen amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Elizabeth Anyango, natokea Bulbul Mogomoine na nimeokoka. Amen. 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 Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Tracy Anjeri, ni natoka katika sehemu za Gataka. Mbarikiwe. Amen. Amen. Tuwapigie makofi hao wageni. Karibuni karibuni wageni wetu. Kuna wengine pande hii. Praise God. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mimi kwa majina ni Emi Osita nimetoka Viga County. Amen. Huko nimekuja kazi hata pastor pale alikuwa jirani yetu pale Jogo. Amen. Hapo hivyo ulikuwa jirani yetu. Amen. Okay, mi nimekuwa huku for three months nimetafuta church but leo Mungu amenileta tu hapa. Amen. 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 Nimeokoka, Yesu ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu, napenda kanisa sana. As long as I'll be here, I'll be fellowshipping with you here. Amen. 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 Tupigie makofi huyo. Praise God. Amen. Praise God once more. Amen. My name is Aljemi Mamombi. I'm from Bulbul Tosheka and I'm born again. Amen. 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 Bonesha Sfiwe. Amen. Sfiwe tena. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Pauline. Eh kutoka side za Makueni. Nimekuja huku kazi na nimefurahia kuwa nanyi. Amen 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 Bwana asifiwe amen asifiwe tena kanisa amen majina yangu naitwa Shadrach Wafula Wanyama Bwana asifiwe amen mimi ni mamia hapa Bull like uh, two months ago Uh, na nashukuru Mungu kujiunga pamoja nanyi na tutakuwa pamoja nanyi kuanzia sasa na kuendelea na mbarikiwa sana. Amen. 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 Kuna mwingine? Tuwapigie makofi wageni wetu. Wageni wetu uh, karibuni sana baada ya ibada. Mstoke tu lakini mtabaki kwa ile kona ya upande huu. Pale mwisho kabisa na mtakutana na washimanzi wetu na mashimanzi wetu watawaambia mengi zaidi. Amen. Lakini mkiwa mahali hapa mjisikie huru, mjisikie mko nyumbani. We love you, we love you our visitors. Amen. So quickly we'll go through our announcements. Monday we have our prayers we usually have our prayers from 6 to 7 tuko na maombi yetu hapa
kwa hivyo kama una umetoka kazi mapema tafadhali jiunge nasi kwa maombi ambayo yanakuwa saa 12 hadi saa moja jioni na Jumatano tunakuwa pia na uh, ibada yetu ya katikati ya wiki ya last week hiyo ibada ilikuwa nzuri sana tulibarikiwa sana wale ambao waliweza kuja Mungu awabariki Lilian na uh, uh, wale wengine waimbaji wa wetu Johan Sikujua Johan anaweza kuimba hivyo but it was good it was good amen so kama uh, unatoka kazi mapema ukiwa unaweza kufika hapa saa 12 tunakuwa na ibada hiyo Jumatano Alafu pia mikutano yetu ya mchana inaendelea vizuri kutoka Jumatatu hadi Ijumaa. Kwa hivyo kuanzia saa uh, saba hadi saa nane kasoro dakika kumi pale ukija Mungu atakubariki. Kuwakumbusha pia kuna vilasi vile ama madarasa ya wale watu ambao wanataka mafunzo ya kimsingi kila Jumapili kuanzia saa nne hadi saa tano asubuhi na hii nataka tu nikisema tafadhali tushangilie amen annual fundraising amen haleluya nimewaambia watu kwamba mwaka huu Mungu atatushangaza amen na we kama hujaamini Wengo tu hiyo siku ikifika. Amen. Mungu atatushangaza. Na tena nikasema hatutoi kwa wingi wa mifuko yetu, tunatoa kwa imani. Amen. Kwa hivyo we usisikie hayo matangazo na ukavunjika moyo ukiwa unaangalia eh, time inaenda na ni kama hakuja ingia kitu. Amen. Kuna wengine Mungu ataingiza kitu hiyo asubuhi ya hiyo siku. Amen. Na nimesema tushangilie kwa sababu hiyo siku itakuwa siku ya kushangilia. Amen. Na bado ninasimama katika ile imani yangu tu by December tutakuwa tuko na roof. Usiniulize how because I also don't know but I know the God that I'm serving he is able to do that Amen Kwa hivyo ninaamini ya kwamba Mungu atatusaidia na by December tutakuwa tumefanya roofing we shall be the biggest church in Kajiado North ya deliverance Amen na pia ah, amen tutakuwa na furaha sana tutakuwa na furaha sana unakaa hivi unaangalia rufu hata uioni imekenda mpaka wapi <laughs> alafu unaangalia wale watu wametoa pesa unashindwa hai ni sisi kweli amen but god is going to do it in jesus name so tarehe ine kama vile tumesema uh, mchungaji mkuu huwa anasema tunafunga uh, wale ambao ni wageni kutoka diaspora ama kutoka ushago hiyo siku wasikuje kutembelea amen na wakikuja waji, em, amen amen waambie uko na haraka hata umevaa tayari sasa una, una waomba tu mkuje na tunakuanga na ibada moja peke yake amen kwa hivyo unakuja nao na ile fea wamebakisha pia wanakuja wanatoa. Amen. Amen. That's how our faith is. Hata hiyo shilingi yenye itakuwa imebakisha kwa fea, hao wageni uwalete waitoe hapa. Amen. Alafu baadaye tutakuwa tu tunashangilia. Amen. Yule dada sijamjua jina dada yangu nitakuuliza jina yako baadaye. Hiyo wimbo ya wekulu wa kwemba haleluya. Tutaimba hiyo siku. Tutaimba hiyo siku Lilian, nikisahau nikumbushe. Amen. 
tutaimba hiyo siku it will be a great day of celebration kwa yale makuu ambayo Mungu atakuwa ametenda so pia kuwakumbusha huduma numbers uh, zina, ziko tayari kuchukuliwa tarehe sita mwezi wa sita ambao ni Jumamosi ambayo inakuja uh, wa, wanaume wote men wanakutana hapa saa mbili waende dot uh, saa tatu waende do to do kwa hivyo tafadhali kama wewe ni mwanaume uko na bibi mwenye ukikohoa anaitika amen amen na hata kama ukikohoa haitiki <laughs> <laughs> Haleluya. Usije ukabaki hapo ukaibika unajua ukibaki hapo tutajua ni wale ambao sasa huu akikohoa. Amen. So door to door evangelism. You never know wakati unahubiri huko unaenda door to door ukirudi huko maneno imebadilika. Unapata tu anakungoja na smile. Amen. That's how God works. So pia tutachukua love offering tuko na mchungaji ambaye alikuwa ni mchungaji wa Deliverance Church Matasia alituaga Pastor Kabugi wale ambao walikuwa namjua he was our architect here yeye ndio alikuwa anatoa advice uh, the next step ya, ku, ya, ya kuenda so alikuja akaaga in a way we, are, we, 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 we don't know we are sad about it uh, but tunajua kwamba he, he was a humble man of god kwa hivyo alienda mbinguni direct so tutachukua love offering kusimama na hiyo familia maana iko na iko na, 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 na majukumu kidogo ambayo yanahitaji ya tusimame na wao na pia ninaambiwa wakati wa corona ulikuwa ni wakati mgumu lakini ulikuwa na matunda yake amen sasa tuko na a lot of newborn babies. Amen. So usika, usiogope kuwaleta hapa kwa sababu usikiri tutasema ni wa lockdown hapana. But uh, tutakuwa na dedication ya watoto eh uh, Jumapili ijayo tarehe saba. Kwa hivyo tafadhali kama una mtoto mdogo tafadhali hakikisha unamleta hiyo siku. Amen. Amen. All the ladies wanatakiwa wabaki after the second service. Ladies mahali kwenu kwenye mnabaki ni hapo. Eh. Alafu watoto uh, wa, 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 walimu ananiambia watoto watapatiwa brown envelopes kule darasani kwao na hiyo ni ya kusaidia kwa mchango. Kwa hivyo ninaomba wazazi tusibwage watoto wetu. Amen. Kwa hivyo tuwapatie kitu kizuri kwa hiyo siku ya mchango. Ndio wakirudisha hiyo bahasha tunajua ya kwamba inarudi na inatusaidia ina, 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 ina hasa katika pesa ya mjengo. Kwa hivyo tafadhali uh, tuhakikishe ya kwamba tunawa tunaeka kitu kizuri kwa ile bahasha 200 500 hata 1000 ukiwezewa usiseme huyu ni mtoto kaika mbao hapana hata inaweza ikakata hiyo bahasha ikaanguka akifika hapa mtoto anasema mami ama dadia aliweka kitu lakini sioni <laughs> amen so eka kitu kizuri na uh, Mungu atakubariki amen si wazazi tutaweka kitu kizuri watoto wetu. Amen. Na pia evangelism team wanatuambia tuko na uh, mission kule Kalinde tutakuwa na ile uh, crusade in the evening kuanzia saa nane. Alafu pia prison ministry juma ni Jumapili. Yes, Jumapili watakuwa pia wanaenda kule kwa prison Uh, kama unaweza kuwa join uwa join tafadhali na unaweza kuwa utaweza kuwa join but umepata kitu kidogo Stanley hapo wapi our brother Stanley unaweza mtumia 
nafikiri uh, Stanley utapeana namba yako the can, next time waiweke hapa wa, watu wanaweza kukutumia hata kama 50 bob 20 uh, not no, 20 bob stack kuitaja 50 bob 100 bob ndio wakati wanaenda kule sana sana huwa wanaenda kwa juvenile na wale wa, wa, vijana wako na wako na mashida mingi kwa hivyo wanawatumia hata toilet papers hata wengine wanakulanga biscuits so at least wakienda kule wawe wako na kitu amen so unaweza kumuona hata kama uko na chochote unaweza kumuona Stanley alafu kasaidia amen alafu pia vijana wote wanabaki vijana wote wanabaki baada ya ibada embulbul tunaambiwa ama tunakumbushwa tuko na uh, ile uh, inaitwa home cell home cell fellowship every tuesday kuanzia saa uh, mbili jioni kwa hivyo tafadhali kama we ni mkazi wa hapa bull ama pengine uko ma, it's convenient ingwe kufika hapa na kule unakoishi pengine hakuna home cell tafadhali kuja we want hiyo home cell ya bull ikuwe very very strong amen kwa sababu tuko na washirika wengi sana around hapa bull kwa hivyo tafadhali wanakutana hapa uh, kanisani kuanzia saa 12 hadi saa moja. wale ambao uh, hawajachukua hizi card tuko na hizi card ushers wako nazo let me see ni wangapi ambao hawajapata hizi card kama hujapata nionyeshe nijue kwa ni, ni kuone kwa mkono tafadhali inua mkono ni kuone wengi wetu tumepata so unaweza chukua hizi kuna, kuna dada pale tafadhali simama dada yetu Asha simpatie hizo kadi unaweza chukua mbili ama hata tatu ukipeana kwa watu uh, you know the selected few Mungu anaweza kuwatumia hao na hiyo siku uwe una kitu so kama unahitaji hizo kadi tafadhali chukua hiyo kadi by faith utakuwa na kitu hiyo siku chukua tu hizo kadi amen amen alafu Uh, kubasari bado applications zinaendelea deadline ni 4th of June kwa hivyo kama uko na mtoto ambaye ni anataka kuingia kidato cha kwanza tafadhali kuna uh, basari hapa za mheshimiwa Joseph Mo- Manje so tafadhali hizo uh, hizo application forms zinapatikana kwa chifu naenda ukachukue na huenda mujiza ukatokea hapo. Amen. So ningeomba Asha tafadhali uh, praise and worship team tafadhali mkuje mbele. Alafu Asha wetu mtutayarishie mtuta vikapu hapa. Tuwapigie makofi uh, praise and worship team. Si leo mnaona wamengara. Amen, si wamengara. Vijana wameweza ama hawajaweza. So kutakuwa na kikapu hiki cha rangi kama hii suti yangu sijui ni rangi gani. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Sijui ni unajua tunafanya kuambiwa hizi vitabaki. Amen. So hii itakuwa ni ile ya matoleo ya love offering ku support ule mchungaji wetu. Alafu kuna nyingine hapa hii ya rangi kama ya suti ya mchungaji imekaribiana na ile suti ya mchungaji sasa hii ni ya mjengo alafu zile mbili hakuna suti kwa hivyo siwezi jua ni rangi gani lakini hizo zingine ndio tutakuwa tunaweka zaka na sadaka zetu so tafadhalini karibuni karibuni waimbaji wantu Oh uh-huh. 
Stanley, si uombe sadaka tafadhali.
Baba katika jina la Yesu tunasema asante kwa sababu ya matoleo ambayo tumekutolea siku ya leo. Tunakushukuru kwamba tunaomba ibariki kwa ajili ya kazi itafanya Bwana. Pokea sifa na utukufu maana ni katika jina la Yesu tumeomba. Amen. Amen. Uh, wachungaji wote na kwa request tukutane kwa ofisi ya mchungaji uh, if it is possible chama ni wa wazee najua utakuwa na mkutano na mama Tony nataka kuona vile tutaenda tuone kama tutaenda kuona uh, mchungaji wetu were so mama Tony na mlatia kama unaweza kujexcuse ama you can appear briefly alafu ukuje tukutane tu immediately baada ya ibada kuna dada alikuwa amenipatia karatasi juu kama yuko salama alikuwa na ako na wimbo naweza kupatia dakika moja ama mbili yuko ama hayuko amen alikuwa ako kwa ibada ya kwanza yuko amen Wewe ni salamu. <laughs> kuja kuja uniambie. Oh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Amen. Tumpigie makofi huyu nduku. Ako na wimbo inaitwa Milele Salama. Lakini wewe ndio unaitwa Maradona. Eh, yeah, anaitwa Maradona. So, acha tupatie wimbo. kwa kifupi Haleluya Francis Maradona ni majina yangu Ya kwenda mbinguni naitwa Moredekai mtoto wa mama Haleluya I'm honored to be here Sina mengi ya kusema ndugu yangu ambaye ni mbona naitwa Milele Salama Na since I'm not here to perform Haleluya Hope I'm not performing isn't it I'm here to minister Si ni kweli I'm a minister I'm not a performer kwa hivyo ningeomba tusimame tu munisaidie huu wimbo hata kama ni kidogo tu hata kama nikupiga makofi maybe hamuelewe ama hamujui ni wimbo wa Kikongo haleluya na ni rumba wangapi wanapenda rumba ya yes basi ndugu yangu na kuomba ukaweze kuachilia na mtabarikiwa sana wimbo unaitwa milele salama nitamwabudu huu yesu milele salama <laughs> master godi <laughs> Zamba zali kosenga nini so kitolingi kozala baninga na ye Geba Left to music Ninga kupenda milele salam ninga kusifu milele salam ninga kuimbia milele salam ay 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 Ninga kupenda milele salam mimi na kusifu kanda zembo zambe azali kosenga nini so kitolingi kozala balinga na ye yemba 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 muyuki tusambu zambe yemba yemba tozongo inayoke otila kaja maisa ko yokisa so ni bae bato lela kaye lela kaye lela kaye jeso manda na lola Akabola li bale na mite mimi bal Akitisa moto ya lola Ma profete ya bal basa guabe Akanga mino kwe gosi Ya moto mine ina moto Akufabe ase guabe Yehe Oh Yemba Yemba Yembe la zambe Yemba Yehe 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 Ina kupenda Milele salama Mina kusifu Milele salama
Mwenda wangu jamani Umenipa fura moyoni Bila wewe siwezi mimi Umenichagua Nafsi yangu mechagua Naimba kisa umenichagua Sirudi nyumo umenichagua Nikisema nitanyamaza Moyo wangu haunyamazi Mwenyezi wasema waimbie Roba sema waimbie Ongidia sema waimbie Mtuva sema waimbie Yeba Mandali wabaikulu Banda na yezambe na ngai Nakotalela mukanda zembo Zambe haza liko senga nini so kito lingi koza la balingana Yeah Yemba 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 Yembe la Yembe la zambe Yemba Yemba Mwina kupenda Milele salam Mwina kusifu Milele salam Mwina kuimbia Milele salam Ay 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 Mwina kumeridhia Mwina kupenda Sifu, milele salam, mwana kumbia, milele salam, mwana kumbia, milele salam, mwana kupenda, milele salam, mwana kusifu, milele salam, mwana kumbia, milele salam, ay, 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 Sijajua kama huyu ni mshirika wetu Situmpatie daika moja tuambie Ametoka kanisa gani Ametoka kongo Eni batoto haba kongo Ama 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 ni 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 wapa kajiado Situmpatie kitu daika moja tu Haleluya. Nilikuwa hapa ile sande na mbao kulikuwa na harusi, lakini siku pata na fazi. Haleluya. Kila mtu wana wakati wake. Sini kweli? Mimi ni muluya na toka viga county. Na huwa nafanya boda boda hapa, na bebea hapa umoja. Hata wengine wenye ni mawabeba, wengine wakakosa kunilipa na wako hapa. Eme. Eme. Iyo ya kukosa kutulipa sikia kuambia uyaseme. Eme. Eme. Huo ni uimba mzuri sana. Eme. Eme. Sasa umefika wakati mzuri tunataka kusikia neno la Mungu. Amen. Situpige makofi kwa hiyo neno. Amen. Amen. So uh, just as we remain standing, the person who is going to bring the word of God is a man of all seasons. And when I say all seasons, I really mean it. Amen. Is a man who has traveled. Amen. He's traveled in Kilifi. Najua mlikuwa mnataka nianze kutajia France. Germany. But anyway, he's somebody ambaye I respect so much. Amefanya kazi ya mungu sehemu za pwani, voi, na pia hapa, Nairobi, amefanya kazi ya mungu. Na mungu pia akamujalia kwa nema ya mungu akavuka hata akaenda Israeli na huko akapata kibali akaombea watu huko amen he is none other than our very own senior pastor tumpigie makofi tumkaribishe amen 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 tupige makofi amen amen tupige makofi amen 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 Amen. Karibu uchungaji. Asante sana. Ketini. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana apewe sifa. Haleluya. Ni bwana mwema. Vile mmesikia ndio hivyo. Haleluya. 
Kwa umbali huu ni yeye embeneza. Haleluya. Ni Bwana mwema. Unapomtumikia, unapomuishia bila changanya changanya, hapo atakubariki, atakutenda mema, atakuinua, atakufikisha pale anataka. Haleluya. Ni Bwana mwema. Nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana. Haleluya. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki sana na muendelee kutia mkazo ndani yenu kila moja. Ukijua ya kwamba kuna mahali tuliitiwa. Unajua kolona imekuja, kila mtu anasema kolona imechanganya kila kitu. Lakini wacha nikwambie, usikubali imani yako ichanganywe na kitu chochote. Omba Mungu naye atakusaidia na atakushikilia. Bwana apewe sifa. Na Bwana wabariki. Wacha tuombe mtumishi wa Mungu. Asanti baba, wewe uishia kutawala Mungu wangu. Ninakubariki na ninakuinua kwa sababu hakika hakuna mwingine kama wewe. Bwana pokea sifa kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. Asanti kwa kila moja wetu Bwana. Asanti kwa vile unazidi kuwa pamoja nasi. Kama kanisa hakika tumekuona Mungu wetu. Umbali huu ni wewe baba yetu. Pokea sifa, pokea na hata shukrani. Wakati huu mtumishi wako anaenda kunena neno lako. Asandi kwa vile umemwandaa Bwana. Ninaomba roho yako mtakatifu akapate kuwa pamoja naye. Waacha kanena yaliyo mahusia yako Jehova Mungu. Na watu wako wakapate kubarikiwa. Uinuliwe na hata upewe sifa milele daima. Na ni katika njina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen. Asante mke wangu. Mic testing, mic testing. Ninazungumza, ninazungumza. Hello. Tuko sawa. Bwana sio apendwa. Tuko wazima sote. Bwana wabariki. Daudi yuko wapi? Malicha. Daudi. Yuko wapi Daudi? Yuko wapi? Kuja 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 nikuoneshe pale utakuwa ukikaa. Kwa ukikaa hapa ninakuona. Praise the Lord. Nikiona naona vile Mungu anaokoa. Haleluya. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Eh. Na ukinyoa unaonekana smart. Anyway. <laughs> Kuna dada tulikutana naye hapa. Asante sana mamweti. Apataye mke, apata kitu chema. Na napata fadhili kutoka kwa Mungu. Pole ni wale hamja hoa. As, pole sana. Kuna dada tulikutana naye hapa hivi nikinunua maziwa. Akaniuliza Daudi bado yuko? Nafikiri ule ushuhuda Daudi alitoa hapa ule mjenga sana. Anikaambia ndio yuko. Akachomoka, akatoa miambili, akaniambia mpelekee mwambie kunywa chai yangu. Of course nisikia wivu. <coughs> But I, I, I thanked that daughter for blessing a man of God. Amen. Uh, uh, wherever she is, tumpikie makofi tu. Amen. Na nashukuru mungu kwa ajili ya Dr. Yuke Sui kama yuko hapa. Alifata kusikia. Na filti na alisikia tu kwa hile media. And uh, akaniuliza huyo ndugu kuna hitaji ya nalo. Nikamwambia yale mahitaji yengine ya kitanda, safuria, wa ndugu wamechanga hata mwiko. Kuna ndugu manyara yuko wapi? Alileta mwiko. <laughs> so kile kimebaki ni simu. Na sasa manake anaenda kufanya masters degree anahitaji simu nzuri. Na akanitumia pesa za kwenda kumnunulia. <laughs> Nasema hivi ni njia ya kusema thank you so much. Thank you for standing with the servant of God. Uh, amen. Makofi makubwa. Amen. Now, leo nataka kuzungumza topic ambao hatupendelei sana. But ni vizuri mara kwa mara tunaitacha. Amen. 
manake ni sehemu ya maisha Siji kama ukitembea tembea umeona vibandiko za uh, advertisement zinasema daktari hodari kutoka pemba <laughs> Profesa kutoka Tanga. Hallelujah. <coughs> na mara nyingi wako na very very <coughs> extraordinary claims. Huyu daktari anaponya HIV na mali iliyoibiwa itarudishwa. Walio na asthma, diabetes wakuje watapata uponyaji kule madaktari wameshindwa hao wanaweza na kama jamii yako wamepote njoo watamuita jina atarudi nyumbani mara moja kama mkeo ama mmeo si mwaminifu kuna dawa na wako wazee ambao wameisha nguvu <laughs> nguvu za kiume praise the lord i'm sure umetembea tembea kwa onezo matangazo pia kwa telev- television tumeona mambo tumepata habari news ya watu ambao walibuniwa kuwa ni wachawi ama waganga wame wamewawa kuna sehemu wakisuspect wa wewe ni mchai wa deal na wewe kijiji yote inakuja inakuchoma kabisa pia tumepata habari kuhusu watu wengine ambao walikuwa wameiba mali imetengenezwa na mganga wanakula nyasi kama ngombe so hmm. na wengine matumbo imefura mpaka arudishe ile mali ali aliiba pia tumepata habari kuhusu wanasiasa wetu ambao wamepokea huduma sio huduma namba huduma za waganga na wakashinda actually in 2013 2014 ana mganga mmoja kutoka Tanzania alikuja na python kwa kusema ya kwamba huduma zake ni kali sana wateja wake wote waliokuja kwake wako katika bunge letu manake amefaulu pia uh, tumepata kwa television ya kwamba watu wanacheza na bibi za watu wamekwama na inabidi mganga aitwe ndio akwamuane haleluya na i'm sure you've seen these things na wapendwa ukweli ni huu katika hizi nyakati tulizo nazo Watu wengi wanaenda kwa uganga. Mimi nimeangalia Runinga and have been so disappointed. Watu katika bunge yetu ninapatia heshima. Naona wakipelekwa katika rituals ambazo wanasema ni za kitamaduni lakini haziko mbali sana na uganga. Pole kwa rafiki zangu wa Kikuyu I'm just giving an example. Lakini ukiona hawa watu wamevaa nguo zinakaa kama ngozi ya zamani na kuanza kusema daraya gaida ya you know the worship of the uncentral god we are going in the wrong direction hata mmoja nikiona a very senior businessman mtu ambao ni tajiri billionaire ameenda kubarikiwa na hapo kuna kakondoo wameenda kuchinja I would like to put it to you brethren ya kwamba katika hizi nyakati tunakaribia kurudi kwa Yesu watu wengi wanapotea kwa uganga Now watu ulimwengu hawanishtui sana kama watu tulio okoka. Manake kuna wakristo wanaenda kwa msaada kwa waganga na sababu ni ya kwamba wamepoteza or they have lost hope katika kanisa. Tumekuja ameombewa, ameombewa, 
hafaulu kwa kile alikuwa anatamani na naoma kama hapa hafafaulu nitajaribu kule kwingine and christians have gone to which doctors wakati moja hii ni example niliwapatia tukiwa mji mmoja nilienda kwa prisons commanded nikamwomba anipatie kantini ya prisons ndio nifanye iwe kanisa na kanikubalia lakini ile catechist wa kule alikuwa na upingamizi fulani tusipewe lakini i think the commandant alikuwa ni mkristo anaelewa uh, kuhusu makanisa kuanza kaniambia ni sawa lakini tra, tutakubaliana yale masaa mnakuja manake we also need it for our own things kucheza darts na vitu kama hizo so huyu catechist akawa amekusanya manini mabusu wote sunday morning wamekusanywa yeye ndio anahudumu siku hiyo kulikuwa kuna jua kali kuingiza mkono kwa mfuko ndio ajipanguze jasho hirizi ikaanguka so wavungwa wakaangalia catechist anaangusha hirizi kaambia eh officer umeangusha mali yako kuangalia nakuta ni hirizi yake imeanguka chini here you are a pastor na una hirizi mfukoni the gospel you are preaching and what you are carrying contradict one another kwa pamoja wapendwa mimi nimepewa mtoto niombe tukiweka watoto dedication kushika hapa kiononi nikasikia kuna kitu usikielewi kwa kiono so nikifanya hivi nikasikia kuna kakamba so nikafanya hivi kwa kidole nikakuta ni kamba imefunga hirizi hapa kwa na tunafanya dedication ya watoto kwa church huwezi kuaibisha mtu so nilifunika tu na nikapatia mama mtoto baada ya maombi lakini nilisikia nimechemkwa na hasira nikamuita kando nikamwambia mama hebu njo hiki ni nini mtoto anacho Ah si mimi baba ni babake ni babake Now ndio ulete mtoto kwa dedication na amekuwa dedicated kule kwingine huoni kuna contradiction You know the thinking hapa iko hivi and it is erroneous ni ni wazo la kiwongo ni ya kwamba unaweza pata msaada upande huu na una guarantee pia kwa kupata msaada upande gani hii na hata tuna quote maandiko ambayo is non existent ya kwamba Mungu anasaidia wale wanao jisaidia praise the lord so siko concerned na ile mikora iko kule nje I'm concerned with the Christians wanaoenda kwa waganga na wapiga ramli. That's what we are talking about this morning. Tuko pamoja wapendwa. Na ningelipenda ujue ya kwamba katika taifa letu la Kenya kuna sheria inapinga uchawi. Tuna sheria inapinga uchawi. Hii ni sheria ambao inaitwa the witchcraft act cap 67 commencing ilianza kufanya kazi on 12 november 1925 hiyo ni siku ya ukolo koloni hiyo sheria inaoneshana ya kwamba society yani watu kwa ujumla wanaona kuna kitu kibaya na uchawi You know, it, it, the, the fact that there's a law prohibiting inaoneshana society inakubali hiki kitu sio nini sio nzuri sawa sawa wapendwa sasa serikali imeunda kikundi kinaitu, kinachoitwa Kenya Law Reform Commission Kenya Law Reform Commission yani sheria kama hizo za 1925 waziangalie upya waone kama zinaingiana na constitution yetu ya sasa. Now, wenye kufanya hiyo hiyo review 
walipofikia kwa hiyo sheria ya 1925 walisema hivi There is a thin line between witchcraft and religion. Yaani wamefika kaangalia hii unaita uchawi na dini zetu za Kiafrika zimekaribiana sana, you know? So kusema hii ni uchawi na hii ni dini it becomes a bit difficult. Hello? Wakasema ya kwamba the 2010 constitution asserts that Kenya is a secular state with no prescribed or proscribed uh, proscribed state religion hasa hapo pa mekuwa pagumu alafu tena wakaendelea na kusema furthermore african culture is intermingled with witchcraft kasema hii hii sheria ku reform iko ngumu manake ukweli ni ya kwamba kile tunasema ni kiutebaduni cha wa afrika kimeingiana na ucha sasa kusema hii ni uchawi na hii ni kiutamaduni is difficult. Pengine amwelewi wacha nitakuelezea. Kuna wale ambao mtoto akizaliwa huwezi kumnyoa mpaka umpeleke nyumbani anyolewe na mamake na, na nyanya yake. Now, where does the hair come in na kunyo, you know, <laughs> Sasa utasema huyu amevunja sheria. Where does culture come in? Hiyo nywele kumbona nyinyanya ananyoa. Tuko pamoja. Wengine wetu hapa tukikuna mkono hivi tunasikia ina each unaanza kutarajia kupata pesa, you know? <laughs> Tuko pamoja wapendwa. Kuna wengine kama walikuwa naenda safari ugonge jiwe ikiwaribu kidole unasema hiyo safari na ina nuksi unarudi nyumbani you know yani there, there's yani kusema culture pale iko na uchawi pale iko it becomes very difficult wengine ukitembea kinyesi cha ndege kikuangukie kichwa kuna wale wanaamini nina bahati nzuri le? leo ya kwamba vitu vya mbinguni zinanipata na wengine wanasema hiyo ni onyo kutoka mbinguni ya kwamba kule unaenda kuna hata hatari it depends from which culture you are we from tuko pamoja wapendwa sasa watu wa raw reform wakasema hii kitu ni ngumu ku ku reform. Haujui pale inaingilia na pale atuingilie. Hallelujah. Now wapendwa for our purposes today. Manake tumekuja hapa kusikia neno la Mungu. Nataka unisikize kwa makini. What is God's mind about the occult? Sawa sawa. Tufungue Deuteronomy. Kumbukumbu la Torati. Just before we do that. Kabla tujafungua, nataka kuongeza mambo mawili. Ya muhimu. Hello. Kabla tujaingia kwa matamshi ya Mungu ta kuzungumzia mambo mawili ni ile inaitwa persuasion yani kushawishi mtu na ingine inaitwa inaitwa manipulation manipulation mambo mangapi moja ni persuasion Now, Kiswahili ki, mimi si mstadi wa Kiswahili licho natumia kizenge kiingereza ndio wale kidogo tunashika uelewa hiyo hata about persuasion and manipulation now ku persuade mtu ni kumpatia ukweli unamweleza ukweli na unampa muda afikirie awaze na kufanya ushauri that is persuasion Oh, mahamweti ameenda. Ni kama vile nilizungumzia mahamweti. Akakubali. Sasa unajua hii <laughs> inaitwa inaitwa pasiwe persuasion. Now we Christians, sisi wa Kristo tunafanya persuasion. Tunaambia mtu maandiko yanasema kwa kuwa sisi sote tumetenda dhambi na kupungukiwa na utakatifu wa Mungu. 
je wewe unakubali ni mwenye dhambi you are giving that person amepata the fact kuitafuna anasema ni kweli mimi ni mwenye dhambi are we together hiyo inaitwa persuasion lakini waganga na uchawi wanatumia manipulation manipulation iko tofauti ningelipenda ujue kwamba mtu anakuja kwa pasta anakuja na imani ya kwamba mchungaji atamsaidia kwa shida yake si ni kweli pia mtu anaenda kwa mganga ana imani ya kwamba mganga atampatia ushauri wa kumsaidia si ni kweli so whether ni kwa Mungu ama kwa shetani sote lazima tuwe na imani naenda haraka ama tunasikizana tuko pamoja sasa mtu akienda kwa mganga anaamini mganga atamsaidia na hapo mganga kikuuliza je shida yako ni gani si utamuelezea au utamuelezea eh hey, unajua biashara yangu imeenda chini naona nimerogwa ninaweka stock inapotea nikifanya hivi haiendi vizuri bla 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 sasa hizo matiri unapatia mganga anajua vile atakumanipulate alafu anasema okay nimesikia naweka ile ngozi yake unjele kwanza lazima kutishe because manipulation lazima uweke nini ndio mtu akuje box you know ah ya 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 hebu tujaribu tena kama inasema kweli anatupa tena na unajua wao wale hizi mamao zinafanya nini ah ya 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 wamekubali wamekubali ni nani huyo upande huu wako wa kulia ambao wamekuwa kikuangalia vibaya wangapi unakuangalia vibaya it's cold cold manipulation you know anakuleta mind yako kwanza ingie kwa fear alafu anakuleta into his way of thinking not your way hataki kukupatia time ya kufikiria alafu anasema ninamuona ninamuona and yes anakupatia vitu ambazo they are not definite hazina uwezi kuweka finger that this is a fact tuko pamoja anakuchezea mind anakuleta sasa na kuangalia naangalia kiatu anaangalia shati how much huyu mtu ana Mm. Ah, ah hii shida ni solvable. Hii hii tunaweza kusolve. Hii naweza kuangalia hivi. Sasa ukuangalia tena hivi 1500, 1500, 1500. Eh anaona umejaribu ukaenda nje ukazungumza na mtu, ukaongezewa, ukamletea. Wewe unaenda kula unga ya kusaga. Jamaa anapiga chapati na kuku. At your expense. Tuko pamoja. So waganga wanatumia manipulation. And I'm talking about wale waganga bandia, you know? Hawa committed prison, ametoka kwetu mitaboni. Anajinunulia tupembe kadhaa na tungozi, ndio akutishe utoe nini? Kitu. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But now what I'm to- going to talk about, si hii michezo michezo ya tutakuponywa ya HIV, nguvu za kiume, watu wamekwama, vitu kama hizo. No, no, no. No no this is a totally different arena. Tuko pamoja? Sasa fungua Deuteronomy chapter 18 Uko pale ndiko matatu nataka tusome ya kwanza ni hii kumbukumbu la torati kumi na nane. mstari wa tisa 
hadi wa 14 kumbu kumbu ya torati deuteronomy 18 mstari wa 9 hadi wa 14 inasema hivi utakapokwisha kuingia katika nchi akupayo bwana mungu wako usijifunze kutenda kwa mfano wa machukizo ya mataifa yale Asiko, asionekane kwako mtu ampitishiae mwanawe au binti yake katika moto wala asionekane mtu atazamae bao wala mtu atazamae nyakati mbaya wala mwenye kubashiri wala msihiri wala mtu alogae kwa kupiga mafundo wala mtu apindishae pepo apandishae pepo wala mchawi wala mtu awaombaye wafu kwa maana mtu atendayo hayo ni chukizo kwa nani? Ni nini? Chukizo kwa Bwana ni nini? Kisha ni kwa sababu ya hayo Bwana Mungu wako anawafukuza mbele yako. Uwe mkamilifu kwa Bwana Mungu wako. Maana mataifa haya utakayoamiliki huwasikiliza wanaoishika nyakati mbaya na kutazama bao bali wewe bwana Mungu wako hakukupa ruhusa kutenda hayo bwana asiwe sana kanisa anasema bwana asifiwe yaani Mungu anasema hivi wewe nimekukanya nisiwahi kukusikia ama kukuona umepatikana kwa watu kama gani hao it is a stern warning na anasema wanaofanya hivyo ni chukizo kwa nani kwa Mungu na hiyo nchi ninakupatia haikuwa yako ninawafukuza kwa ajili ya hizo tabia ndio nikupatie wewe usifanye hivyo Bwana asiye sana ni chukizo kwa nani ni chukizo kwa nani na tumefanya nini tumeonywa it is a very strong strong stern warning from God never ever get involved there Uzwai kuingia pale. Tuko pamoja wapendwa. Andiko la pili kitabu cha Walawi 20 na mstari wa 27. Kitabu cha Walawi Leviticus. Kitabu cha Walawi 20 na mstari wa 27. Na Leviticus 2027. Tena mtu mume au mtu muke aliye na pepo au aliye mchawi hakika au tauawa watawapiga kwa mawe damu yao itakuwa juu yao tarudia tena tena mtu mume au mtu mke aliye na pepo au aliye mchawi hakika atauawa watawapiga kwa mawe damu yao itakuwa juu yao Halo Nao sikiza mpendwa. Tumeanza ya kwamba Mungu amefanya nini? Ametukanya. Mungu amefanya nini? Amnisiki. Mungu amefanya nini? Ametuonya. Kwa nini Mungu anatuonya? Anasema ya kwamba hawa watu kwa Kiingereza unasema watu walio mediums or with familiar spirits yaani ni kusema sasa umeingia uwanja mwingine wa kiroho tuko pamoja unapoenda kwa mganga mpiga mbao mpiga ramli umeingia katika a spirit world na anasema hao watu ambao ni mediums wacha ni kuelezea medium ni kitu gani Medium ni mtu anasimama katikati ya watu wawili. Tuko pamoja. So wewe mwenye shida the client umekuja kwa mimi mganga nizungumze na miungu quotes miungu wa kusaidia. Tuko pamoja. So I'm the medium. Si mimi nakusaidia. Ninasikia shida yako na ielezea hawa manake wewe ujui vile wao uzungumziwa wakiniambia vile nitakwambia ninakwambia. So I'm the medium. Tuko pamoja. Tuko pamoja. Sasa umekuja 
na wakati unakuja si umenyenyekea chini yangu ni kueleze naita pole pole ndio tueleanwe si umenyenyekea chini yangu ndio ni kueleze lakini ni roho gani ananitawala ni roho gani ananitawala wa shetani kama roho wa shetani ananiongoza umenyenyekea chini ya nani asante ndicho biblia ilikuwa inasema nimekuonya manake unafikiri pale ni mchezo but you are coming under the submission to a demon na ni wewe umejipeleka hakukuita ni wewe umejipele umejipeleka now familiar spirit yani kuna roho tumezoeana his familiar tuko pamoja hata wengine wana majina na wacha nikome hapo ndio nikuelezee kitu kuna mweti mara mbili yule mweti sasa unaona unaona pasta mweti tuko pamoja ukikuja kwangu utakuta bwana mweti mweti ule original kutoka metaboni ndio hapo ndio nakuja na kushika mama mweti na gonga hapo nyuma maana is my property hallelujah so soon that is the original mweti i cannot do that here you know those are two different atmospheres <laughs> Hello <laughs> Sasa this is Mweti the pastor that is Mweti the original Bwana sio sana Hapa ni huduma kule ni maisha Tuko pamoja The same thing na mganga Mganga unapompata lazima aingie kwa atmosphere ya kuganga Sasa unajua kinikuta pale nje we can have a bible discussion but I'm not preaching ndio nikuje kuhubiri meaningfully lazima nijiandae niombe nitafute Mungu ndio nikuje nifanye nini nihubiri mganga vile vile ukienda kwa mganga anakuweka mahali ukae ndio ajiandae anavaa nguo zake ram uh, official alafu anaanza kuzungumza in tanks kuna tu tanks nyingine tu hao hebu naweka kangozi kake yeye anaita miungu zake anaita miungu zake mpaka yeye na miungu zake the family spirit anaita wako in tune tuko pamoja ndio natupa hizo mavitu anakuambia so what is happening wakati unampata kule nje akikimbiza mbuzi zake he is the normal man lakini hapa ukimpata wakati yuko job yuko chini ya utawala wa roho mbaya tuko pamoja that's why there's a difference ukikutana naye pale ameenda dukani kununua vitu na ukimkuta hapa kwa nyumba yake anafanya kazi here he is under the control of a demon pale yuko shughuli zake are we together hai ana za tuoba <laughs> sasa ndicho Mungu anasema ninakuonya very seriously usijaribu kwenda kwa hawa because the moment you do that umejileta chini ya kunyenyekea chini ya demon na tunasemaji mwivi haji isipokuwa kuiba kuchinja na kuharibu in other words umemenyenyekea ume chini ya mwizi muaji na muharibifu you are telling him please naomba uniibie unichinje na uniharibu that's why there's a stern warning nakupeleka pole pole tu ndio tusikizane hello Bwana sana. Ndicho akasema hiyo story ya kwenda kwa hao watu wacha. Kabisa? Nimekuonya manake hao watu wana familiar spirits, wana ma demons. Now, let us go to numbers. Taka twende kwa kitabu cha hesabu 14:18. Hesabu 14:18 Numbers 14:18 Numbers 14:18 Numbers 14:18 Inasemaje Bwana ni mpole wa hasira 
mwingi wa rehema mwenye kusamehe uovu na makosa naye hata mfanyia mwenye hatia kuwa hana makosa kwa njia yoyote mwenye kuwapitiliza wana kwa uovu wa baba zao katika kizazi cha tatu na cha nne wacha nizungumze kidogo ndio uelewe what is saying inasema hivi ningelipenda ujue kwamba ule Mungu amekuita he is long suffering ye uvumilia sana anavumilia nini sana na ni mwingi wa kurehema he is very forgiving lakini he will not acquit the guilty ukiwa guilty Mungu haezi kujifanya hujafanya kitu na wakati Mungu ameuvumilivu wako umeisha wakati you know god's patience imeisha hata uombewe na ulimwengu wote no he will not hear tuko pamoja anasema wakati hasira za Mungu zimeingia atakuchapa wewe achape watoto achape wajukuu wako na wajuku, watoto wa wajukuu wako hey! <laughs> unasikia atakuchapa wewe manake alikuonya kutoka kitambo na unajifanya usiki wapendo anajaribu kuwasaidia <laughs> alikuonya once twice three times usiki yani unafanya maksudi hiyo uvumilivu ikiisha atakuchapa kwanza atakuchapa wewe usifiri utaenda bila kuchapwa alafu baada ya kuchapa akuachi hapo hata mtoto wako atachapa na baada ya kuchapa mtoto wako hata mjukuu atamchapa na sio tu hata mjukuu hata mtoto wa mjukuu wako mpaka asili yake hii unajua kuna kitu niliwaambia na you think i joke kuna vitu nimeangalia and i studied in scripture nikaona zina ukweli mama mweti msione vile yuko mfupi yeye unleta juu na makanasia kama nitamweka kamba na nivute <laughs> lakini nakumbuka nimeokoka Praise the Lord. Hiyo kukumbuka ndio nisaidia. Bwana asante sana. <laughs> Hallelujah. Nicho nashukuru hakuna mtu piga hodi kwangu wakati tumeletana juna eh. Hao watu wafupi. Anyway. Hata <laughs> wakimba kwa Anyway. Sasa <laughs> hata akini provoke namna gani kuna kitu sitafanya sitamchapa I, i will never hit her kuna mbegu unapanda sasa zitavunwa baadaye na ni mbegu mbaya unapiga mke wako because you are stronger you have the advantage unamkanyaga Like one case niliangalia nikasema we can be real beasts. Mtu mama na mimba amemkalia chini kwa tumbo na she's pregnant. Six months pregnant. Amnamtia mangumi kwa kwa kichwa. You know unasema surely. Surely na si mimba ya nje ni yako. Times you know wako zingine hasira. Kuna kamita uenda hata gari inakuwa na overheat na Bwana sasa because i don't want my daughters kule wataolewa waende wakue punching bag kwa watu wengine so hata mama mwechi akinileta juu kuna ka extent ninatoka napiga round kidogo ndio ndio cylinder head <laughs> ikuja manageable levels tuko pamoja wapendwa there are things i don't want to do manake nitazivuna baadaye Now let me just talk na kusema hapa Hao wazazi unaona they are bother to you wakikuitisha chakula unasikia ngumu kuwapatia You will not be always young utakuja kuzeeka Watakuwa na kula sausage wewe hata uji ya kunywa hakuna Eh because what you are planting Hata mkiniangalia vibaya <laughs> Hata mkiangalia vibaya. Sasa wapendwa. Hasira ya Mungu ikiingia umekuwa ukienda kupiga ramli. Umekuwa ukienda kwa hawa. 
unakuta ya kwamba God has a very good way of punishing you. Hiyo mali unakimbizana nayo anakupatia hata zaidi. Lakini he makes sure you will not enjoy it. You will not enjoy it. Alafu vijana wako wanakuangalia wanaona vile watakufanya past tense. Hamuniamini? <laughs> Hamsomaki gazeti. Si hapa kuna kijana mmoja university amemaliza baba, mama, bradhake, kazini yake na mfanye kazi. Walimfofanya interrogation baadaye. Actually the idea was wakiondoka hii mali yote ni ya ndicho staki niwe tajiri sana niko wapi kioko <laughs> nisaidiwe kwenda into the next world <laughs> bwana sio sana the point i want to get you here ni kwamba kwanza mungu anatuonya seriously don't get involved number two ni kwamba the reason i'm warning you ni manake hawa watu wako na mape na mapepo ni kwamba if you continue doing wakati hasira ya Mungu itakuja kizazi cha nyinyi ndio kitapoza hiyo hasira tuko pamoja wapendwa tumesikizana wapendwa ah, na wapeleka pole pole because there's something i want to deal with now ukisikia hizi majina zote zinaitwa necromancy hydrology i, I know hydromancy na vitu vyote zisikutishe i will break it down for you kwa ujumla kuna area tatu za demonology ama za ma- maganga Eri ngapi? Tatu. Ya kwanza tutaanza nao inaitwa fortune telling ama divination. Ni fortune telling ama divination. Yaani ni wakati unataka kujua ni mambo gani yananikujia. What is coming inanipata. In, in, you are curious to know. Hapo mbele yale yatanipata ni yapi? Tuko pamoja? So sababu yako ya kwenda kwa mganga kuagua kuna kitu kinakusumbua and you have to make some decisions lakini wizi ku decide manake hujui hapo mbele mambo yataenda namna gani na for example vile vile rafiki yangu anakaaga mahali anataka kupiga ramble ajue 2022 2022 eh, re, eh, uhuru akitoka ni huyu ama ni mimi ama ni waipa ni nani anaingia hapo you know ni nani ni nani <laughs> tuko pamoja eh, wana wana siasa sasa wako very 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 waganga wako very much in demand manake 22 just around the corner ni nani ni nani unaona kama ama ni mimi ama ni mimi ama ni mimi unaona iko namna gani tuko pamoja let me give you a biblical example ndio tuelewane what i'm talking about first kings i mean second kings chapter 1 Second Kings chapter 1 ndio tuone what I'm talking about. Second Kings chapter 1. Second Kings chapter 1. Wafalme wa pili chapter 1. Hebu tusome verse 1 to 4. Verse 2 to 4. Verse 2 to 4. Verse 2 to 4. Second Kings chapter 1. Second Kings. Second Kings chapter 1 second kings chapter 1 verse 2 to 4 na ahazia akaanguka katika dirisha la chumba chake orofani katika samaria akaugua akatuma wajumbe akawaambia endendeni mkaulize kwa baal zebubu mungu wa ekroni kwamba nitapona ugonjwa huu lakini malaika wa bwana akamwambia elia mtibishi ondoka uende ukao nane na wale wajumbe wa mfalme wa Samaria ukawaambie je ni kwa sababu hapana Mungu katika Israeli hata mnakwenda kuuliza kwa Baalzebubu Mungu wa Ekroni basi sasa Bwana asema hivi utashuka katika kile kitanda ulichokipanda bali hakika utakufa Elia akaondoka Bwana asiye sana Halo Halo pale nyuma Bwana asifiwe Ahazia ameanguka kutoka kwa gorofa na akaumia kasikia he vile najisikia siko sure kama nitai nitaishi 
akaita wajumbe akawaambia ninawatuma katika mji wa Ekroni nawatuma mwingi ninawatuma mwingi natuma ebu ebu ule ule mganga yuko pale mumulize nitaishi ama nitakufa na wajumbe wakaamka kwenda kabla waanze safari Mungu akaita nabii wake Elia akamwambia njoo Elia kuna watu wametumwa na hazia kutana na wao waulize hivi waambie rudi kwa yule aliye watuma umuulize hii swali ni kwa sababu hakuna Mungu Israel ndicho unaenda kuuliza kwa waganga na mimi nauliza wale uenda kwa waganga hapa ni ya kwamba hakuna Mungu katika maisha yako ndicho unaenda kwa waganga ndio uende kwa waganga Mungu yule unaamini is he such a cripple hawezi kusaidia ndicho unaenda kwa waganga kusaidiwa Hello So wale wajumbe wakaenda wakakutana na mtu anaitwa Elia kwaambia pigeni about an Mwambie ni mfalme hii swali. Je, hakuna Mungu Israel ndicho naenda kwa waganga wa wapi? Wa Ekron. Tuko pamoja. Tuko pamoja wapendwa. Sasa na mimi nakuuliza. Why do you want to know about tomorrow? Inakusumbua na nini? Kesho inakusumbua na nini? What, what, what is bothering you? Maisha yangu iko mkononi mwa Mungu. Kesho yangu iko mkononi mwa Mungu why do i need to know about tomorrow the just shall live by faith i don't need to know about tomorrow kesho the god who has brought me this far hata kesho atanivukisha yeah i don't need about to know about whatever at lockdown lockdown kitu gani my god is bigger than a lockdown nakwambia unajua wakati kenya tamatangaza lockdown nakwambia ndio baraka zinakuja ndugu mmoja kutoka kitale akaniletea gunia mzima sio 90 kilos 100 kilos ya mahindi haleluya isipokuwa mama mwetu alinituma nikasage jana hii hi ni mbaya sana imagine senior pastor anaenda kusaga mahindi hii mambo tutazungumza baadaye anyway kuna lockdown but god is blessing me because my hand and my life iko mkononi mwa nani i don't need to know about tomorrow tomorrow is in god's hand and the just shall live by faith iwe ni biashara mkononi mwa mungu iwe ni shamba yangu mkononi mwa mungu iwe ni elimu ya watoto wangu mkononi mwa mungu i will live day by day hata Yesu akasema acha kufikiria mambo ya kesho. Today hii imetosha. Madhambi ya leo imeto. Wacha kuongeza ya kesho na ya leo. Kuingangana na ya leo. Ya kesho Mungu atadeal nayo. Haleluya. Pigia Yesu makofi. Number 2. Number 2. Number 2. Number 2 ni ile inaitwa demon worship. Yaani lile kuabudu shetani bila hii aibu ni kama hizi sanamu the worship of idols is the worship of demons if you are worshiping anything else apart from the living god you are worshiping idols and demons kwa hivyo ibada zetu za Kiafrika zilikuwa ni ibada kwa shetani yeah if you are either worshiping the true god any other worship is demonic bwana sana ndio lakini sasa kuna watu wamejitolea kabisa kuabudu shetani mwenyewe satanists wanajiita ma illuminati na whatever kuna watu wamejitolea kuabudu shetani unajua kabisa hii ni ibada ya shetani katika ibada kuna sadaka si ni kweli na one of the sacrifices watu walikuwa wanatoa pale mbele ni watoto wanatoa watoto wanachomwa kwa moto walikuwa hapo kwa kwa altar kwa ule Mungu alikuwa anaitwa Molech unatoa your firstborn anatupwa kwa moto na ndio watu wasisikie sauti ya mtoto akilia palikuwa na drums na zile symbols 
zinapigwa na bidii to drown the voice of the crying child now wapendwa nisikizeni hapa tunapokuja kuhubiri hatukuji kukondem watu but at the same time hatuwezi kujificha na, uji, na ukweli we state the, the, the truth to you ndio tukusaidie tuko pamoja madhambi ulizofanya kabla uokoke ulipookoka Mungu alifuta yo yote kabisa is wiped out but i'm talking about wadada ambao wameokoka na unefanya usharati ukapata mimba ulipogundua una mimba unatoa huo mtoto una flash unatupa kwa choo ama kwingine that is child sacrifice wewe maksudi umechukua hatua ya kutaminate that pregnancy manake uliipata katika njia mbaya tuko pamoja sisemi siku ile hujaokoka hiyo hata tuzungumzi i'm talking you are saved umeokoka unamjua Mungu na wewe ukijua umepata mimba maksudi unaitoa na ikishatoka unatupa kwa choo ama kwingineko kuna mmoja miaka kadhaa kwa hata number of years back alizaliwa akatupwa kwa hii ngong forest na umbwa ikaja usiku ikitafuta vitu vya kula na ikaona ule mtoto and for reasons not understood badala kula ule mtoto iliuma kile kitamba ile leso alikuwa amefungwa nayo ikauma na ikabeba ikabeba mpaka hizi nyumba za hapa lenana ikakuja ikawacha katika mlango wa mama mmoja na umbwa ikaenda kukaa kama pale mama aliposikia sauti ya mtoto akakuta ni mtoto amebebwa na umbwa na umbwa hii kumkula ikamweka wapi mama akatoka akakuta ni mtoto ametupwa akamchukua akampeleka police station akasema huyu mtoto ameletwa na umbwa pale kwa my doorstep na ninaomba serikali ruhusa i keep this child miaka kadhaa imeisha walikuwa wameandika story remember this child wangong forest i since i read the story unakuta amekuwa ni msichana mzuri doing very well in school unasema surely unatupa probably the next president of kenya unatupa pengine mtu angelikuwa a very famous lawyer in this country unatupa another mother karua ama wangari madhai you know you don't know what you are carrying na wewe huna ruhusa ya kumaliza maisha ya mtu manake ni Mungu peke yake anaruhusa ya kutoa maisha manake ni anapea na maisha sio wewe only god has the right to terminate life because he's the one who gives life sasa na hubiri hivi because we have to deal with those things in your life kumbuka tulisema manake ulionywa hasira za Mungu zitaenda to the third up to the fourth generation we want to deal with that today that's why i'm hoping now be this way hatukuja ku condemn tumekuja siku ya leo tukusaidie tumekuja kukusaidia kuna watu hawajui ya kwamba shetani anatamani kuabudiwa hata alimwambia yesu shuka chini uiname ukiniinamia nitakupatia hii mali yote katika ulimwengu akamjibu hata una haya imeandikwa utamwabudu Mungu wako peke yake only god hakuna mwingine anastahili lakini kuna watu wamekubali kuabudu shetani ndio apate mali yeah there are some people who worship the devil without knowing ndio apate nini mali wataua watu watakuweka kisu ndio apate hiyo shilingi 100 unayo sometimes so little you even wonder whether it's worth killing a person for utapata hiyo mali but haitakupatia raha do you know that god can give you property na sikupatia raha ya kuifurahia eh uko nayo na ufurahi amekunyima kabisa kuikula you have it but you don't enjoy it na kwambia kutafuna ugali ya mtu ametoa jasho kuna utamu I'm telling you God gives you the unga na nakupatia appetite. Ni meno tu nimenyimwa lakini 
I'm going to deal with it. Amen. Hallelujah. Bwana si sana. Apigia Yesu makofi. The third one. Hatari kabisa. Inaitwa necromancy ama spiritism. Andika spiritism hiyo ita make sense kwa kwa haraka. <clears throat> Now spiritism ni wakati mganga anazungumza na watu waliokufa wakupatie ushauri. You raise up the dead, you know? Unaamsha wafu wakupatie ujumbe unaohitaji. Tuko pamoja? So this is a spirit medium. Now, mfano mzuri tunaweza kupata kwa Biblia ni First Kings chapter 28. First Kings chapter 28 ambapo Sauli Samuel chapter 28 Tunakuta wafilisti wamekuja kinyume cha mfalme Sauli. Tunakumbuka hiyo story. Wafilisti wamekuja mpaka Sauli ameogopa. Manake kumbuka wafilisti walikuwa na vyombo vya vya vita vikali sana because walikuwa wanaelewa utemadu, eh, walikuwa na ujuzi wa chuma na shaba lakini waisraeli walikuwa ni watu wa miti. Are we together? So sasa naona chariots za farasi. Wao hawana chariots. Hao watu wako na panga za, za chuma wao hawana zao ni miti na mikuki na mishale sasa sula kaangalia kasikia uoga akajaribu kuita yule kuhani akamwambia Mungu anasemaji akasema Mungu azungumzie amenyamaza akienda kulala aona kama Mungu atazungumzia kwa ndoto Mungu azungumzie maono hakuna ni manake Mungu na Solo walikuwa wamewacha wamewachana tunakumbuka Halo? So Saul akafikiria what shall I do na vita vya kesho si vile zitakuwa akauliza watu wake je mnajua mganga yeyote alafu mtu mmoja akasema ndio kuna mwanamke mganga katika mji unaitwa Endo huko kienda utampata so wakaamka huo usiku wakaenda mpaka Endo waone huyu mwanamke mganga so wakaenda kwa huyo mwanamke mganga na Saul ametoa nguo za ufalme ameweka chini amevaa nguo za kawaida amekuja bila hiyo esco, presidential escort amekuja tu kama kawaida kwambia mama eh nataka unisaidie kuamsha mtu kutoka kwa wafu mama kamwambia we hujui mfalme Sauli amemaliza waganga wote Saul must have done that in his better years pale awali akamwambia mama na kuahidi sita kuripot so mama kamwambia sawa kaa hapa hivi mama kavaa nguo zake zile za kupiga ramli na kaanza kupiga alipoanza kupiga ramli akapiga nduru wewe wa! umendanganya wewe ni king soul unajua wakati walikuwa nazungumza hange alimjua manake ni mtu wa kawaida lakini sasa ameanza kupiga ramli na yule familia spirit amemwingia amemwambia by the way you are dealing with king soul so amemfichuli so lakamwambia ni kweli ni mimi lakini tulia tulia niamshie yule mtu amekufa nataka umuite akamuuliza unataka nani akaniambia akamwambia nitie Samuel the prophet Samuel alikuwa tayari amekufa Soma makasema sawa akaanza kufanya viombo zake akamwambia naona kamzee kamoja kazee sana kamiinama kana umvi kana kaa hivi akasema ndio huyo ndio huyo ndio huyo ndio huyo anataka kumuulizaji vita vya kesho za sisi na wafilisti zitaendaje nitashindwa ama tutashindwa Yo ghost kasema wewe na watoto wako mtani join hapa niko kesho <laughs> Si umekuja kujiba uliza ujibiwe wewe na watoto wako mtakuwa wapi hapa niko na huyo jamani yuko wapi <laughs> Kula kutaenda wa Yuko <laughs> kule kukubaya Soul akaishwa na roho aka collapse tu Mama akachinja ndama alikuwa hapo akaleta nyama so langeleweza kula 
manake tayari amejua kesho pala tayari naenda kambe mzee heri ukule tu manake utaenda so heri wewe ndo umeshiba na ndicho naona siku hizi mimi nakula na bidii manake wale wanabeba jeneza yangu lazima wachoke you know sio kunibeba kama kartasi ya hivi hapana ah, lazima unini you know although i'm not dying mimi ni rapture material but just in case bwana pesana ni vizuri ukule vizuri tu kama tutakubeba tunachoka tunajua tumebeba mtu ameniumiza you know nime lakini watu wengine wanaweza ikopi hiyo jeneza na tayari ishai inua juu <laughs> it well bwana sana so the question is this hii ndio swali hii ndio swali yule mwanamke mchawi aliyeamka kusema ukweli alikuwa ni Samuel ama si Samuel that's the question alikuwa ni Samuel ama sio Samuel the answer is sio Samuel sio Samuel God does not contradict himself. Hawezi kusema one thing pale na anafanya kitu kingine ha wapi? Hapa. Anasema don't speak to the dead. How can he then allow someone to go na mtu amekufa na mtu yuko hai? Hawezi. So what was happening? Nikapepo. Remember that the devil is a master deceiver. Ni pepo uongo. Anakuja amekaa kama Samuel. The devil can come as an angel of light. Akajitokeza kama nani? Samuel. Na by the way hata mashetani ni wafanyikazi wa Mungu. God can use them when he wants, the way he wants. Kama vile waliowatumia kusumbua job. Si kweli? Yeah, he can use them the way he wants. So the following day Samuel, I mean Saul alikufa. Now kuna watu wanatembelewa na shetani bila kujua. Kuna mshirika mmoja alikuja akaniambia mchungaji nataka unisaidie mhm nyanya yangu amekuja akinikujia kwa ndoto ananiambia nifanye hivi na hivi na hivi nikamwambia hmm. sikiza mpendwa there is no communication between the living and the dead huyo sio nyanya yako huyo ni pe ni pepo atakupatia ukweli leo ukweli kesho ya tatu atakuwa ameingiza kwa shi manake kumbuka si rafiki yako he comes to steal to kill and destroy that is the third bwana sasa maswali mawili ningelipenda tuulize maswali mawili it's important to ask these questions j swali number one. Kuna uganga na je uganga ufanya kazi? Uganga ufanya kazi kweli ama ni ni uongo uongo? Number two, Can demons perform miracles? Those are the two questions. Je, uchawi ufanya kuna kweli kuna uchawi mtu anaweza kukuroga? Can it work? Number two, Can demons perform miracles? I think it's very important to answer those questions. Now Nataka mtu mmoja asimame na tusomee Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. Nitakupatia microphone utusomee. Acts chapter 8. Tunajibu swali la kwanza. J, uganga unafanya kazi ama ni ni story bandia bandia tunasikia. Acts chapter 8 verse 9 to 24. Lakini usome mpaka 24, soma 9 10 11. 9 10 11. Kuna yote amepata? Wewe ni Kiingereza ama Kiswahili? Hamna Biblia? Act chapter 8, matendo ya mitume nane. mstari wa 9 11. Eh mulacho umepata? Hapo bado. Eight, chapter 8 chapter 8 verse 9 10 11 verse 9 uh, it says um uh, anisome yeah. benda amenifunza kiswahili 
Uh, inasema na mtu mmoja jina lake Simeoni hapo kwanza alikuwa akifanya uchawi katika mji ule uliwashangaza watu wa taifa la wa Samaria Ak, akisema ya kuwa yeye ni mtu mkubwa wote wakamsikiliza tangu mdogo hata mkubwa wakisema mtu huyu ni uweza wa Mungu ule mkuu wakamsikiliza kwa maana amewashangaza muda mwingi kwa uchawi wake lakini walipomwamini Filipo akizihubiri habari njema za ufalme wa Mungu na jina lake Yesu Kristo wakabatizwa wanaume na wanawake Huyu mtu anaitwa nani? Ah, huyu mtu anaitwa nani? Na amefanya nini Samaria? Amewaganga. Wanasema yeye ni nini? Yeye ni nguvu za? Tumejibu hiyo swali. Nauliza, tumejibu hiyo swali ya kwanza. Kuna uganga ama hakuna? Biblia inatuonesha huko that one man in Samaria ame weka uchawi mpaka wa mtu anasema this is the power of god so wamegangika wamefanya nini wamegangika hello now let me make a note uganga unafanya kazi tu kwa wale wajaokoka kwa wale wajafanya nini jaokoka je uganga huko ndio huko ukisikia mtu anasema hakuna ganga you talking to a fool kuna uganga na ina uganga unafanya ka lakini kwa wale hawajaoko manake wakati Philip alikuja he overturned the tables ukweli wa Mungu ukiingia bas uongo wa chetani unato kuna jamaa mmoja mali nilikuwa na nilikuwa na, na, na kanisa nilipata stories zake mpaka nikamuogopa bwana alikuwa ni here chick there chick here chick there chick everywhere chick chick so nilikuwa nafikiria nikisikia hizo story manake it was ilikuwa ni rampa the whole town ilikuwa inajua huyu mtu ni ni hatari kwa usalama kwa watu wamevaa skirt tena alikuwa anakula tule tororo tule tuzuri tule tu tumeiva so nilikuwa nafikiri jamaa moja handsome yani ukimwangalia tu tu wadada wakimuona wana wana shake shake so siku moja nikakutana naye ay 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 jamaa ameisha is on his last legs you know other let other You know, ame hata ni mzee kunishinda sasa ndio nikakumbuka sisi wakamba especially kama hauna sura you look like a hot hogs cousin eh? ukiwa na sura kama hiyo unaenda kwa waganga wanakupatia kamuteka wendo nika stick ka love eh? <laughs> kamuteka wendo ni kastik yani ni, ni, ni kauganga unapewa unapewa hirizi ya kupendwa does it work or not a brother it works it works kwa wale wajaoko unakuta mzee ameisha lakini amefuatwa na kastrinka katu spring chicks why because there's a demon spirit at work here we are not dealing with at language ya kuweka mtu box hapana he ni pepo inafanya kazi and when they come up to themselves wanajiuliza how how did this happen you know nikamute hao kasika nafanya ka kwa wale hawajaoko i am telling you to this day kuna biashara zinafanywa na kamute from whatever area ya kwamba mwenye duka akifungua hakubali hata mtu yeyote aingie mpaka aende achome ubani na afanye mazingaombo yake ndio afungue milango customers wafanye nini waingie ukisikia mtu akisema hakuna uganga you are talking to a fool kuna uganga and the scriptures have proved je can demons work miracles 
Moses in Egypt. Moses anatumba chini mti unakuwa nini? Nao waganga wanatupa miti chini inakuwa nini? Kuna tofauti ya nyoka ya Musa na nyoka za waganga. They were all snakes. The only difference ni kwamba ya Musa ilikula za nani? Can demons work miracles? Yes. Kuna uganga? Ndiyo. Can demons work miracles? Yes. Tumejibu? Now, nataka kumalizia. The last scripture I want us to read tunaposimama. Tusimame. Na tunaposoma hii maandiko kama unatoka tafadhali toka pole pole manake nataka tufunge hiyo milango. Kama kuna watoto waambie watoke nje. Watoto watoke nje please. Watoto watoke nje na kama kuna mtu anatoka tafadhali toka sasa manake tukifunga mlango we don't want movements around. Thank you Jesus. Hao wakitoka mashimanzi tafadhali funga mlango. Nataka tufungue hesabu 23 23. Numbers 23 23. Hesabu 22 20, sorry. Numbers 23 23. Hesabu 23 23. Hiyo uwezi sahau. Numbers 23 23. Numbers 23 23 Naomba sote tusome inasemaje Deliverance Church Bulbul bwana asifiwe Nasema Deliverance Church Bulbul Bwana asifiwe Nataka sote tusome hesabu 23 mstari wa 23 na mashimanzi wafunge mlango Tusome pamoja Tusome pamoja. Hakika hapana uchawi juu ya Yakobo wala hapana uganga juu ya Israeli. Sasa habari za Yakobo Israeli zitasemwa ni mambo gani aliyoyatenda Mungu. Wewe you are unrogable. Ukiwa ndani ya Yesu haurogeki. Ndicho watu wa ulimwengu watauliza ni kitu gani hii Mungu amefanya ya kwamba hawa watu hawarogeki ni manake you are covered by the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen Nitaomba tafadhali unisikize na tufanye kazi pamoja Kamera zote naomba zi switch off Please switch off all the cameras na kila mtu naomba tafadhali usitembee na ufunge macho tafadhali tafadhali na kuomba funga macho kila mtu every single person here naomba ufunge macho na usitembee tembee because we want to minister to people right now wapendo tunapokuja kuhudumu hivyo we don't do jokes here god is here to minister to you kama unajua na nikitaja utainua mkono na uweke chini sitaki ukae na mkono juu utainua na uweke chini kama unajua ya kwamba umeshawahi toa mimba kutoka siku ile uliokoka baada ya kuokoka unajua ulitoa mimba naomba uinue mkono na uweke chini usikalishe juu inua sasa asante weka chini 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 kuna mwingine asante weka chini kuna mwingine 
Asante weka chini. Kuna mwingine? Unajua umetoa mimba baada ya kuokoka umeokoka na ukatoa mimba. Inua mkono because we are dealing with that today. Hatutaki hasira ya Mungu iwe juu yako, watoto wako na vizazi vyako. Kuna mwingine? Asante. Nauliza swali ya pili. Funga macho usifungue macho. We are still praying. Kutoka wakati umeokoka, you are saved. Unajua umemtembelea mganga. Confess today because there is forgiveness. Inua mkono na uweke chini. Unajua umetembelea mganga. Inua mkono na uweke chini. Kuna yote? Asante, weka chini. Asante, weka chini. Asante, weka chini. Asante, weka chini. Kuna mwingine? Unajua ulienda kwa mganga. There is something we are dealing with here. Usidanganye Mungu. Inua mkono na uweke chini. Kuna mwingine? Kuna mwingine? Asante kwa wale wamekuwa na ushujaa, the, 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 the braveness to confess because we are dealing with that right now. Hallelujah. We don't come to preach like this to condemn you. Tunakuja kuhubiri hivi ndio upate msaada kwa Mungu. Tulisoma na tukasikia kwamba God is long suffering and yeye ni warehema nyingi. When we confess our sins, God is just and faithful to forgive us and the blood of his son Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins. Thank you for those who have confessed. Hatukuiti mbele, hatutaki kuaibisha. We are just going to minister to you now. Pale uliko usikuja hapa mbele, kanisa lote tunaomba. Kanisa lote tunaomba. Tunaomba ya kwamba those who have been involved katika hiyo mambo Mungu awasamehe and he removes that guilty conscience from their hearts. Aweke amani ya Mungu kujua kwamba Mungu amenisamehe hiyo mambo imeisha. Wale wameenda kwa hao watu ya kwamba the devil aambie kutoka leo hauna ruhusa kugusa mtoto wa Mungu amekukataa amekukana. Toka kabisa. There is nothing between you and the child of God. Na kwa sisi ambao hatukuinua mkono, please umeonywa siku ya leo on behalf of God na kuonya usijaribu usidhubutu kwenda kwa mganga ama kuwa involved na those cultural practices za uchawi na uganga don't ever do it manake you are inviting the devil and his demons in your life shall we intercede for our brethren kora baba baba shika la la bazantu ori bai kanda la baba baba shike meme zantu
Amen. Wacheni tuombe pamoja. Baba katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru kwa wema wako mfalme wa ajabu. Tunakiri ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu unayetupenda. Tunakiri ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu unayetujali. Tunakiri ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu unayetusamehe. Tunakiri ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu utuponyaye. Wakati huu na majira tunakushukuru hata kwa ujumbe wa leo mfalme wa ajabu. Maana umeona mahitaji yetu. Umeona upungufu wetu mfalme wa ajabu. Asante kwa sababu ya mnenaji. Maana Mungu umemtumia ili Mungu kaweze kutupatia msamaha mfalme wa ajabu. Wakati huu na majira ewe Mungu wa rehema. Tunakuja mbele zako mfalme wa ajabu. Hasa sisi ambao mfalme wa ajabu wale ambao Mungu wa rehema wamejipata hata katika zile hali ambazo ni chukizo. Mungu tunaomba kwa niaba yao Mungu kaweze kuwasamehe na kuwatakasa. Ninakuja kinyume cha nguvu zote za ibilisi, tunakuja kinyume cha lana zote, tunazifunga na kuzilani katika jina la Yesu. Tunataka kuitisha roho wako mtakatifu, kuanzia leo akaweze kutawala maisha yao, akaweze kunena baraka katika maisha yao, akaweze kunena msamaha katika mioyo yao akaweze kunena upendo katika mioyo yao yote yafanyike kwa utukufu wa jina lako we worship you we bless you we love you we honor your name for in jesus name we do pray and believe amen tumpatie yesu makofi tumpigie yesu makofi amen 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 ah uh, wazee wote wewe ni mzee na umeoa uko na mke yule nimesema ukikohoa amen nataka upitie kwa huu mlango tafadhali tukiwa vile tumesimama tu wasee na kama vile nimesema ukibaki hapo tutajua ni wale ambao ukikohoa Amen. Wazee wote tafadhali wapitie kwa huu mlango.